Welcome to SCNC 1111, Scientific Method and Reasoning. In this video, we will reflect on what science is and then discuss the scientific method. Curio, have you heard of the scientific method? Yes, I have. We'll introduce some standardized vocabulary and important points that you might still find useful. So to begin, let me ask you, Curio, what is science? Let's use Chinese medicine as an example. Is Chinese medicine scientific? Well, it makes use of abstract principles like yin and yang, which can be quite difficult to understand. I know that even Western medical doctors have witnessed the positive effects of Chinese medicine treatments, such as acupuncture and cupping. Even the famous swimmer Michael Phelps uses cupping. Hopefully, thinking about this question has prompted you to think more about what science is. We must first be clear on what science is before we can judge whether a certain subject is scientific. Then let's list out some common features of science. Great idea, Curio! Is science a subject that tries to understand nature? That sounds like a good description. But what about engineering? Engineers attempt to create things that do not exist in nature by first learning about nature. Can we classify engineering as a science then? What about experiments? In your high school science subjects, you may have done many experiments, but are experiments what distinguishes a science from another subject? Take psychology, for example. Many social experiments are carried out to understand human nature, but it isn't considered a science. Nevertheless, it is important to consider why experiments are so important in science. Another point is that science subjects tend to be quantitative and make use of mathematics. But what is the need for all these complex calculations and mathematical theorems? These features lead us to the key definition of science. All science subjects adopt the scientific method. Let's see how Richard Feynman introduces the scientific method.